Isn't that fun? Let's go get Mama and milk her, okay? Aha! I covered this gate, so now you guys can come in here with me and help me do chores. Isn't that fun? Let's go get Mama and milk her, okay? No, that's that's my seat. <laughs> that's my seat. Well, this is going to be an interesting adventure. Here, you guys wait on the ground. How fast can Danelle milk before the babies <laughs> completely chew through her clothes? So, over the last day or so, I've noticed that Honey has been laying by the baby's pen, and it's incredibly rare, like almost impossible for her to take her kid back now. That's, no. But we thought, hey, let's see if she'll tolerate. Let's see if she'll be in there with him. Whoa, baby go, found the ramp. So this is what happened. All right, let's give it a shot. You hold on to that and we'll see what she does. Doesn't seem that interested. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I didn't think so. I didn't think so. That would be pretty rare for anything to happen. Yeah. Babies are more interested in us giving them a bottle. Yeah. It's okay. That was a fun try, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can bring babies in here. They're going to go crazy. They want me more than this teat. Let's see what he does with this teat. You know what to do with it? No, you want to just come over to me, huh? Babies that have been raised by a bottle aren't very likely to know how to nurse from a teat. Come here. Right here. Look up there. Over here. Right here. Come down here. Well, they learned pretty quickly that I was up there milking and they could use this ramp to get up. So, don't know if they can do the milking chores with me, but they can go play down the walkway while I'm doing the chores. Okay guys, so you know how we were trying to decide on a registered name? Well, we decided on Lottery Cricket. Hear me out. I was originally gonna do Golden Cricket, but the more I looked at it, the more I thought, this doesn't really make sense. It doesn't, you can't really tell it's a pun. So it was between Cricket to Ride and Lottery Cricket. So I decided to go with Lottery Cricket because she's a bit of a gamble. We don't know what's gonna happen with this Tilly line. We don't know if we're gonna get what we want. So, yeah, they've got back teeth that are really sharp. So she's gonna be Lottery Cricket. Sorry, I didn't go with the majority on this one. Okay. Time to go with your friends to see if you can sneak you in. Go on, hurry, you got you got him escaping. Go, go. Oh my goodness. There you go, be nice. All right, come on then. Okay, you too. Go on. People are always surprised to find out how quickly mamas get sick of nursing their kids. Normally kids are weaned at around eight weeks old, but the mamas, I they just get tired of it around one to two weeks. They just, they're not as patient. They let them nurse for like five seconds. They're usually crying to get out of this pen. So we like to give them breaks, but this is also a good time because we are also bottle feeding. We hybrid bottle feed to make sure that these babies are friendly. Some years we've been able to just let them completely dam raise and we can touch the babies enough and they can become friendly. But other years we've struggled even with all of that touching and we just like to make sure that they're friendly because a friendly goat is a goat that's gonna stay in a family for a long time. The only problem is bottle training is the worst. So we start really early, like three days after the mamas deliver and it is definitely a struggle. <laughs> it's not very fun to try to teach them to love the rubber nipple 
but nothing is worse than a wild goat. So we stick with it and by about now, the babies are maybe between, I guess the oldest are almost four weeks old and then some of the youngest are almost two weeks old. By now, they're all pretty friendly because they've all associated us with food as well. And they sure love Kevin. He's a good bottle feeder. Back up. Come on, River. Don't scoot over. We can't see your pretty udder if you scoot over. There we go. Look at that. So you probably noticed that I've changed the milking station. So here was my plan. I just realized that Kevin, when he was doing all the milking while I was going through my surgery recovery, he milked and he did not do anything with the milk. He didn't take the milk, he just milked and he left it in there. This is like two month old fermenting outside. It is disgusting, it smells horrible. So it looks like uh, I'm gonna have to buy a new bucket. It's so bad, guys. See what I did. Oh, look at that. I just need you to drill holes so that ramp can fit. Oh, okay, okay. What do you think of that? Cause see, watch. I, like I lead the goats up. It's easier to milk them because the machine's over there, right? Okay. And then I can do any milking just over there in that little spot. Okay. You like? Yeah. We'll see if it works. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Wednesday has uh, learned the bottle. <laughs> She's learned how to suck. Oh my At God. first I was a little worried she wasn't doing very good, but now she's good. She's good, guys. And she lets you know that she wants it. Mm-hmm, watch. Hold on. <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> Breathe for a second. <laughs> you can stand and hold your head up and nurse at the same time. And your ears are straighter. Yeah, her ears straight now. She's perfect now. This is a good moment to show what I'm looking for in a kid. So I want a nice long neck. I'm making sure that their legs line up with their withers. I'm making sure that they level out pretty good, mostly when they're running, not when they're standing. And then I like to make sure they're nice and wide. Not just how far their feet will go out, but how wide they are up here at the top. And that's pretty good, but we know River's wide, so we expected Wednesday to be pretty wide. So when I'm looking at the other kids, that's basically what I'm looking for, a well put together goat because if they're well put together, they're gonna live a long life, they're gonna be healthy, they won't have leg problems. I'm not really sure which one I'm gonna keep. I'm looking at a lot of them and going back and forth. It's definitely hard when they're little because you, you have a tendency to wanna keep everybody, but you have to make tough cuts. Let me see if I can get her arranged on the stand. I really like a lot of things about Cricket. I try to put my finger in their mouth to see if they will suck on it, but she is not easily tricked by it. She's a smart little one. She knows I don't have a bottle. But I love how long Cricket is, and she has a nice long neck. She's fairly wide in the rump, but not super wide, but decent. But I just love her overall structure. She looks really balanced, but you guys already know that we're keeping her. We gotta see if we can improve the Tilly line, and the only way to do that is to keep keeping Dolings. So she's a favorite. Okay, you're done. All right, here's another one that stands out to me. I just love how her body type is. Let's see if she'll suck on my finger and I can show you how she looks when she really stands straight. She is so long, nice long neck, nice, nice long body. She has a pretty level top line. It's best viewed when she's moving. That's how you're supposed to assess a top line, not from them just standing. So sometimes she tucks that rump in, but for the most part, we look at rumps because that is an indication of how the mammary system's gonna hold. And my favorite thing about her is how wide she is in 
the arch. We call it the escutcheon, but it's basically the very top of where the udder would be. She's just so wide in that area at the top, and I love to see that. So she stands out from the crowd for sure. There are still others that look great as well, um, and I'm just busy, you know, kind of assessing them all. <laughs> it can be tricky. There's a lot of good ones this year. Thinking three will be good, but it's hard to decide which three. So let me know in the comments which ones, if this was your herd, which three you would keep. Three dolings. <laughs> good luck, it's tough. So I'm gonna make dinner, and then we're gonna announce the winner of last week's quiz. Did you know I have a complete guide to raising goats? It's an online course on how to keep a healthy and happy herd, and it has all of my advice from 16 years of raising goats with videos, tutorials, and my favorite part, printable or downloadable graphics to make all the aspects of goat raising, from labor and delivery to the best care at each age, way easier. There's a lot of misinformation online, and nothing is worse than not knowing what to do for your adorable, fluffy goat. Not only do I have a full in-depth course that covers literally everything you need to know, I also now have mini courses that are more affordable and tailored to your specific needs. You can access it online from anywhere in the world. It's for every breed of goat and just one purchase gets you lifetime access. So click the link below in the description to check it out. We've got some greens in the garden right now and so I'm gonna make for you guys a chopped salad but this is better than a salad because when you chop it like how I'm gonna chop it it's basically like a dip for a chip so we'll get some Swiss chard a little bit of lettuce a little bit of cilantro all right and now we're gonna just put it all together we'll wash it all chop it all up but see when we chop it guys we're gonna chop really small like little itty bitty sizes like just go to town on it, just pulverize it, okay? And then you'll do the same for the lettuce and you can add other things to this. You can add celery and red peppers and cucumbers. You can add anything you want. That's what's so great about a chopped salad. Oh, I added some carrots as well because my carrots aren't really ready in the garden yet. So I just have the little baby carrots from the store. Then we'll mince the cilantro, we'll put all of that into one big bowl. And now, okay, so you can make a homemade dressing, but I happened to see this at the store and thought that sounds really good. So I'm not gonna try to recreate it. This is just like a sesame ginger seasoning. You can make really any kind of dressing and throw it on here and then guys just start dipping just start eating it with chips because that's how that's how good it is you can go crazy and try all sorts of different combinations with this it can be served as an appetizer or you can just serve it as a side dish with some chicken maybe this isn't very groundbreaking maybe you guys do this all the time but for me taking a salad and just chopping it fine somehow makes it taste better so there you go Okay guys, I'm silly and I forgot to ask for names in that form that we did for the quiz. So I'm gonna paste the emails here in a random picker and I'll just have to like show part of the email so that that person doesn't get a ton of emails. 2,893 of you guys got 45 out of 45 on the baby goat quiz, so you guys did pretty good. Kevin got, um, I think he got like a 25 out of 45, so he's still working on it. <laughs> He'll get there eventually. All right, so I gotta cover the emails here. 2894 of you. All right, here we go. Let's see who the winner is. And I'll blur out the email so it's not the full email. Okay, that's the winner. Uh, J. Cole. So if your email starts with J. Cole, send me an email because you just want a plushie or some free merch. So send me an email if that's uh, how your email starts. And yeah, good job you guys. A lot of you got it right. I was really proud. I mean, you guys have got this. Those black babies, those are hard ones because they look a lot alike, but you did a good job. Okay, this has been soaking for a while. I think we can salvage the stainless steel bucket because it's seamless, so there aren't any seams inside and I think we can clean it, disinfect it properly. But this lid is so gross, I just can't. Okay, it's that time of year when we need to clean out all of our jars because what happens is they get milkstone on them. So I'm gonna show you right here. You can see it. They get this kind of film all around the milking buckets. I have various sizes. <laughs> Depending on which goat I'm milking, I have a little one, I have a bigger one. 
have a tote, I have a ladle, I have the big milky machine tote. All of this needs to be deep cleaned with an acid mixture to get all this milk stone off. I like to pour some in the bottom and then spray it throughout it. Then we let that sit for a while and we will clean them out later, maybe tonight or tomorrow. Guys, look at this, a brand new lid. <laughs> it's so clean, it looks so good. I figured as long as I just bought this, I could deep clean this and this would be, this would be good enough, so. It makes me excited to have clean things for sure. And now we're ready to go for the 2024 milking season. Salem's always been obsessed with big branches. So she finds them and she carries them around and now she's getting Casper involved with it. Yeah, she's trying to convince Cam Casper that wood is fun, but he's not really convinced yet. He just wants it because she has it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right guys, thanks for watching today's video. We have a lot of videos right now and a lot going on, but I'm really excited in a lot of them. I'm excited about the potential and that um, I'm still trying to decide which ones to keep. It's so hard. There's a lot of good ones and I really, really like them. We've only got a little less than two weeks till Daphne delivers, so that's gonna be really exciting. <sighs> I hope she doesn't have five like last year. That would be really nice. And yeah, fun baby good adventures happening right now. It's the best time of year. <laughs>